Welcome back to the Morning Blend where we are cooking with Thunder Bay Grill. Today with spring on the mind, we're keeping it light and healthy with a flavorful salad. Chef Mike Yuli is back to show us how he builds layers of flavor into edamame <laughs> chicken salad. I did say it correctly, right? Correct, yes. Edamame. Morning, edamame. <laughs> yeah. edamame. Yeah, so most people, when you think of a salad, you think of boring vegetables with a ranch dressing. So <laughs> this is, you know, it packs a lot of flavor, but it's also healthy. It has, you know, multiple proteins and other things to round out a flavor profile and to be healthy as well as taste good. I like okay. that. There's so a whole lot of ingredients, but what I also like about this, I feel like everything you make um, meets this uh, standard, but it's so colorful. Yeah, that's always one thing, you know, you, you always see the colors first. If everything's the same color, it's not really appetizing. Right. right. So you got to have a little green every day. Yeah. I mean, if you have to have it, you might as well make it taste good. So and you're using the bag. Yeah, trick. So this is the bag trick. Oh, I so seen this. how do we do this? So if you build your salad in the bag, you uh -huh. don't have any dirty dishes. You just throw the bag well, away my when you're do? done. <laughs> Well, I mean, you have your bowl, <laughs> so okay. it's just less bowl. dishes. Yeah. So we're going to start. We have some shredded romaine and then some shredded Napa cabbage. So it gives a little bit of crunch, a little bit of different flavors. Then we have our edamame here, which has just been tossed with a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of oil and roasted in the oven. And, and people are seeing it there out of the pod because a lot yep. of people who eat at edamame as an appetizer, for example, eat the, the little greens there that are on in the inside yeah, so out of the pod. This makes it easier to incorporate and then you get it in every bite of the salad. Right, and edamame is just soybeans, correct? Correct, and then so it's, another, like I said, it's just another form of protein. So you don't have to load up on chicken, you can have a vegetable protein as well. Great. So, and then the chicken is just some chicken breast that we've marked on the grill, cooked all the way through in the oven, cooled it down, chopped it up because it is a cold salad so and then for a little bit more crunch a little bit of peanuts love it some yeah. roasted red peppers also for chopped up for some color and for some healthiness what do we got there and then here <laughs> we have the sesame brittle which is some oh. sesame seeds some cayenne salt pepper and a little bit of honey that we cook in the oven it comes together oh, that's so, a great idea and the honey keeps it all together okay yeah. so, you get so then special chunks we have our avocado just want to take the knife around the pit pop it open i love watching this i know and he's so good at it chefs do it they make it look so easy cube it up mike can i take the bag for lunch and we just forget molly <laughs> so you can fight over it <laughs> over it. I'll so arm it up for lunch. And then you can there use you a spoon to scoop it out or just squeeze it out. Oh, yourself. okay. So once again, it all depends on how ripe it is. Yes. And that's, that's the thing um, you want. If you take it and you squeeze it and it has just a little bit of give, then that's perfectly ripe. If, it, if you push in and it collapses, yeah. then it's too ripe. Over ripe. And if it's really hard, then you want to let it ripen a little bit more. Exactly. So that's the trick. So then we take our sesame ginger dressing which is just a balsamic dressing base with a little bit of sesame seeds, some green onion, some ginger to round out, you know, give it, you know. Here some, comes the magic. You have okay, some I'll of the, the Asian magic. flavors, so you want to bring those all together. No, wait, wait so. before you shake it, because one of the, the tricks to salad in a bag is leaving a little bit of air yeah, in it. A little so bit of air so you have room to toss it. Okay. okay. And the other trick is hold the top tight. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> otherwise it goes flying everywhere, <laughs> and then you defeat the purpose of having. But as you can see with the bag, it's coated. You're tossing it around. That way everything gets tossed in the dressing. That's awesome. Isn't that just cool? Just take the bowl. And I, voila. And it pops. Okay, so I got to right imagine that there. you sell a lot of these. How big is the bag at Thunder Bay Grill? Well, we do them each to order. So oh. it's the same bag. Then here for a little bit more crunch. Smart. Some wonton strips that have just been cut and fried. A little bit of spicy peanut sauce. Yum. Oh yeah, I can beat Molly for this. Some <laughs> green onions for a little bit more color. And there you go, got a mommy chicken salad. All right, awesome, I'm gonna let Kat taste it. Of course you are. I talk about the fact that this is on both the lunch and the dinner yes, menu. Is. is it currently on the menu for yes. people who stop in yep, and visit Thunder Bay? Yep, this one's been on the menu for years and it's not going anywhere. There you go, because it's so good. <laughs> Thunder Bay Grill is located just off the interstate and Highway 164 in Pewaukee, exit 294. Call them for reservations or go to thunderbaygrill.com. How is it, Kat? It's so good and it's so crunchy. Can you, hear, can you hear it in my mic? Mixed in a bowl. How about that? Mmm. <laughs>
All right, oh, good stuff. Thank you so much, Thanks Mike. We appreciate me. it.